What's up guys, Michael Lee here, your realtor of the Palm Beaches and welcome back to my channel for another video. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. All right, guys, so today I have a beautiful property tour for you in the small quaint town of North Palm Beach. We're gonna be in the subdivision called Lake Park Manor. Now, Lake Park Manor is a very, very small subdivision of just 52 homes and about three streets. All of these homes were built in the mid 1950s, so think about 1954 all the way up to maybe 1958. They're all single story homes, and this particular home we're gonna check out today is a single story, five bedroom, three bath home with a pool. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to Lake Park Manor, where we're going to tour this single family home five bedrooms, three bathrooms, over 2,000 square feet under air, a little bit over 2,100 to be exact. So we're gonna start off here in the living room slash dining room. Now, everything in this house has been remodeled. So if you see that little board there, I'll go in and zoom in on that in a little bit. You can see all of the upgrades that have been done to this home. So let's do that now, let's check it out. Uh, as you can see, the upgrades that they say they have done have been the new flat roof, new water heater, new plumbing, new ACs. So pretty much everything in this house has been redone in 2023. So you're getting, in essence, a brand new house from the ground up. So let's check out the kitchen. Open floor plan. Beautiful countertops here with a miniature island in the middle. And these things in the in these islands, I think, are beautiful addition in the kitchen, especially if they have additional storage place, space as you see here. So you can put anything in here. I know in kitchens you run out of storage space as well. So you have six additional drawers here in addition to all of the cabinet space that you do have. Now stainless steel appliances even has the stainless steel farmhouse sink as well as the stainless steel whirlpool, everything throughout. So nicely done, nicely done. Now, I'm gonna take you guys to the left wing of the house to check out the two bedrooms that are gonna be the larger of the three additional bedrooms that we have outside of the primary suite. So immediately to my left is going to be the guest bath, a full bath, where your guests can use, or if you have guests staying over, or if you have children that you wanna keep in the front of the house, this can be their bathroom that you would use, but most likely this will probably be a guest bath since it's right here in the front. Two guest bedrooms, one on the left, one on the right. So we'll check it out. Now I have pre-walked this house before. This is front facing here. You have two windows on each side. One is facing the front of the home. So this is going to be one of the two larger of the four additional bedrooms that you have in the house outside of the primary suite. And then you have the same layout on the other side as well, except this has a backyard facing window. So one can watch the front while the other one watches the back. And you kind of cover both sides of the house. Now that takes care of the front right side of the home. And while we're here, we're gonna go straight ahead. So this does come with a one car garage as well. And out here, you do have access to the backyard. There are a few spaces where you can access the backyard, one being this one-car garage, where you can fit a nice little one-car vehicle in here. I'm not sure about an XL Yukon truck that may be too big for this type of garage, but you can fit any other vehicle in here, I believe, with the size. Washer and dryer outside, so you don't have to keep it in the house. I know everyone likes that. Now, <clears throat> What's also interesting about this house is if you don't have room for guests to use the front bathroom, you do have another 
full bath right off the kitchen, which is quite interesting. So full shower, full vanity. So if you don't want that front bathroom to be a bathroom for your guest, this could be it. Beautifully done. Like I said, the home house was renovated in 2023. And right off the bathroom and the kitchen is going to be bedroom number three. Now these two next bedrooms we're gonna show you are a little smaller than the first two. So if you have a toddler, if you have a newborn baby, this could be the perfect size for them as well. Or you can make this a guest bedroom or a nice home office since you don't need much room in either space. So this could be a nice home office for you right off the kitchen. You don't need a lot of space to go in your home office. This could be one as well. And like I said, you're right off the kitchen. Now, here, one thing I do like about the home is you do have additional space as well. So this here is a nice little storage cabinet where you can store, you know, additional luggage, additional furniture, additional, you know, we just have stuff as people. So this could be your stuff closet if it needs to be. Now down here in the hallway are the next two bedrooms. So you do have another bedroom here, which is very small, I would say. Um, maybe space for a twin bed here, right against the wall or right up against this wall. Or like I said before in the previous room, this could be a baby room where you have a nice crib or a nice room for your toddler, a nice playroom for your toddler or baby, because this room is right next door to the primary suite. So now let's check out the primary suite. The largest of the five bedrooms right off the pool, as you see double doors going out, as well as another entryway to the backyard in the back of the primary suite as well. Coming in, you have the bathroom immediately to the left. We do have double vanities with the same setup as the kitchen, with a nice coordination. You do have your nice mirrors, your sconces, now the shower does have an upgraded shower, as you can see all the kind of nozzles, nozzles, oh, oh, I messed that one up. Nozzles, handheld shower, rain shower, and whatever temperature gauges and you know, whatever else you want to do in the shower, it looks like it has it for you. So, frameless shower door, which is always nice, has that resort feel to it. And then you have additional storage maybe for your towels and whatever else you want to keep in there. This house does not lack on storage. I will give it that. Now, since there isn't any central AC in here, I do want to point this out because as a basketball player in Europe, I used to use these things all the time. And these are the wall units where you just have the separate AC unit outside. So you don't necessarily have to use the home's AC to use this in your separate bedroom, which is actually nice. Touch down on electricity bills. Now these two rooms here are used as closets. Now you do have the separate his and her closets, recessed lighting, so they did leave it blank so you can kind of organize it the way you like. So you can do an Ikea PAX closet system in here. You can just do regular shelving. If you're a shoe fanatic, this could be a shoe closet for you while you have your other closet before your main clothing. And that is just around the corner here. Now this closet, not a lot of closets. I know the last house I toured did have a closet in one of the guest bedrooms as well. So this one does have a window in here as well. So I think the closets are getting windows now for the natural light. So nobody wants to get ready in a dark closet I can see in my property tour. So this one has a nice view of the pool. So if you wanna go in and get changed, you can see what's going on outside. If you're having a little house party or a pool party or the kids are playing, you can get ready while still keeping an eye out on the children. So let's go check out the outdoor space. All right, guys, welcome to the outdoor space. The access that I just went through was through the primary suite. So the primary does have two access points to the backyard immediately to the backyard. So you do have this little side area here with the palm trees and you do have some additional grass space. What I do like about this backyard is that you don't just have concrete. You have a little patio here that could be used as a basketball court, a nice playground area for your children, 
or just a nice gazebo area for someone who just wants to relax. You can really turn this space into something that can be very, very enjoyable for you without losing a lot of grass space. So there you have your pool, which is right off the house. So you have a few access points from the pool. You have the kitchen access point. You have your two access points from your primary suite from the left and the right directly to the pool. And then you do have some additional grass space outside of this area for just natural grass enjoying it. So you can have a nice garden if you can look forward. Actually, they do have a little space for the nice garden. So you do have a, an almost makeshift planters box here for plants, gardens, fruits, vegetables. If you have a green thumb, I know I don't really have a green thumb. If you have a green thumb, this could be a space for your garden as well. And then you do have some additional space. If you wanted to turn that into a second parking space, you can drive your car up here. You won't have much room to get in and out, but you do have additional space for parking, it seems, if you open up that side gate. So with that, if you guys have lasted this long to the tour, thank you guys for joining me. And I hopefully you guys will like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.